Hey, hey, YouTube, how are we doing? This blue sky is caused by the sun being out, which makes an absolute change, yeah. You know, last time when I went and did my CBT practical ride, I thought we might be in for a little bit of a spell of nice weather, but it wasn't to be, unfortunately. And, uh, yep, the rain came back. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, it's been a bit rubbish as well, to be honest. That said, we have had some nice days, just not when I've been able to get on my bike. So, uh, um, today, all the planets have aligned and I am out on my motorcycle. It's been about three weeks. And as you can see, I am donning a new outfit today. Gone is my winter coat. And I'm trying this Oxford uh, motorcycling shirt to see if it's actually warm enough uh, for me to wear this right and ditch the coat for the summer. And so far, so good. I think it looks pretty cool as well. And I'm going on a little bit of a jolly. today because kill that indicator I need to go and get some photographs basically so you're gonna find out a little bit about me today uh, I haven't really told you much about myself to be honest but today I'll tell you a little bit about what I do for a living but first of all let's get up this massive hill Not in fifth. <laughs> so today we're going to a place called Puck Pool Battery or Puck Pool Park. Uh, it used to be a World War II battery um, with like guns sort of uh, overlooking the Solent as it were because we've got naval bases obviously in Portsmouth. Um, <clears throat> just the other side about four and a half miles away. So uh, let's get a fifth gear. So uh, yeah, basically I am heading there. Um, it's a cool place to be honest with you. And I said before when I went to Sea uh, View that I'd pop in and show you a little bit about it. But I'm going there because it looks cool for my photographs that I need to take. So uh, I'm heading there now via Tesco's because I need to get some dosh out. A lovely day it's a bit blowy but uh other than that very nice so i need to be turning right here so let's indicate right and just check, do my checks there lovely no problem so just check everyone see me coming around here Hopefully, all good. And I'm indicating left off here, so I need to check my shoulder and kill that indicator. Right, let's go and get some dosh out. Definitely get where, get used to uh, some weather like this. Everyone is getting a bit fed up with the rain. And I know it's not just here on the island. We are getting similar reports from other riders uh, across the UK it has just been poor poor winter but hopefully most of that is behind us well that's a st steep curve there all right let's go down this one here right where's the cashies over there what are you doing Okay, I'm just going to bung it over there quick. Right, back in a sec. Right, Dosh is in my wallet, so let's get out of here and head towards Puck Pool Park. Let's do it, let's indicate here right so people know where I'm going. 
people come flying across this roundabout to go into the gold club so you've got to have your wits about you particularly on a bike Indicate right here. And we're clear, so let's get out of here. Okay, indicate left off here, check over behind the shoulder, kill the indicator, bosh. Right, puck pool park, here we come. Hopefully the uh, sun is in a favorable location. Are we gonna get a nod? Yes, we are. Nice one. Right, so uh, something to know about me. I am a self-employed printer. Uh, so I've got a little printing business. And over the years, I've done all sorts of printing and that kind of thing. But I've sort of landed in a niche of reflective printing. So I do have like a little... Um, it started off as a um, cycling safety brand, you might say. Basically, I make reflective stickers for push bikes. Um, but uh, it transpired since uh, having a bike, sorry, a motorcycle, um, the same sort of uh, stuff applies really. Uh, so I am making some reflective motorcycle safety stickers as well. And uh, I have made templates and whatnot for my bike. And I have a reflective sticker kit fitted uh, of my own design, so uh, which I've obviously manufactured myself as well. So I am going to Puckpool Park to get some product photos. Um, yeah, so quite exciting. I don't know if anyone will be interested, but uh, we'll soon find out. But uh, I've been having fun playing around with it anyway. All right, what are you doing? That's the one there. Let's get through here. Lovely. Right, it's 30 miles an hour down here, so let's behave like it. Yeah, so the set that I fitted uh, basically is like a, a test kit. I've just done a wacky design to sort of showcase, uh, you know, what, uh, what can be done and whatnot. But uh, it turns out I actually quite like it. Uh, but uh, I will be hoping to get some uh, more stealth sort of designs out. Because this one is a bit loud, but uh, I suppose you want to be seen, don't you, on your motorcycle? So nothing wrong with that. Right, it's not too far to Puck Pool Park. Hopefully, because it's midweek, it will be quite quiet. So let's get indicating because I need to turn right here. All clear. Check that dude has seen me, which they have. So let's indicate left and check my shoulder. Kill it. I hope you've all uh, had some nice rides uh, in my absence. Like I say, it's been about three weeks, you know, but uh, you know, being self-employed and busy, <laughs> I have to take the opportunity when I can. Uh, so that's what I do. But uh, yeah, I hope you've managed to get out some nice places on your bike. So tell me all about it in the comments. What you've been up to? Let's get down here. <clears throat> Kill the indicator. Also, in other news, exciting stuff, even when I'm not uh, making a video, there is stuff going on behind the scenes. Um, <clears throat> I had my theory test last week and I am pleased to announce that I have passed my theory test now. Uh, first time, <laughs> so I aced it, which I'm pleased about. So I can start moving forward with my training and towards a bigger, proper, full license. Come on. 
thanks to everyone who wished me luck on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you playing at? My handle, or what, what, is it a handle? Uh, two Wheels Tommy on Instagram. I'll put a little link below here somewhere. So go and check it out. Give us a follow or something. Do what you do on Instagram. Right, here we are at Puck Pool Park. <clears throat> Need to have a little recce and find somewhere nice for a photo or two. That wall gets loads of lovely flowers on it in the summer, but uh, that time has not arrived yet, so that will not be my backdrop. Though we do have a bit of wisteria creeping in. That'd be nice when that's out. I do like a little bit of gardening, I must, must say. Now I'm in my 40s. Right, what we got in terms of, you can see these cool buildings. This is the old battery and the ammunition stores during the war and stuff. So let's go down here and have a look, see what we can uh, use for a backdrop. That's pretty cool. Nice little gap in between the trees there. Go and see what's going on up here. Nothing very exciting. Right, I'm going to head towards that little gap, I think, and uh, get my camera out. When I say camera, iPhone. <laughs> As a child, I had many a fun day playing down here. Right, let's get in here. Right, let's get some photos. See you in a bit. Okay, so I do have some photographs in the bag, but uh, I forgot to uh, get some on the video. So what I'm going to do, because I've got a bit more time than I thought I did, I am going to go for a little bit of a jolly down the seafront in ride by the boating lake. And I'll whip my camera out and I'll give you a quick show there so you can see what I'm chatting about. <laughs> but I will also need to get some pictures uh, when it's dark. Um, obviously being a reflective product, uh, it's handy if I can show what they look like in the dark when they're reflecting light. So I will need to come out on my bike at night and hopefully that will be this evening. So that will be my first time riding in the dark. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's see see what goes on at home and uh, what uh, what needs doing around the house first. So let's uh, hope, well, let's pencil it in. <laughs> and all being well, I can nip out quickly <clears throat> tonight and get some more photos in the dark. Right, let's turn right here. Okay, we are clear on both counts. Lovely. Kill that indicator. Bit of archery in progress. <clears throat> so yeah, as I mentioned, I have done my theory test. Um, don't really get nervous about those things, but I did make sure that I did plenty of research and uh, revision prior to my test uh, last Tuesday and um, 
you know, have you got any funny theory test stories? Let us know in the comments. Did you pass first time? What went wrong if you didn't? And now I need to figure out what happens next because it's quite confusing, I think. So I think I have to do a DAS or something like that. So I shall be checking it out and chatting to my, uh, my trainer and taking it from there. I'm going right here technically, so let's indicate to that effect. All clear. Okay, indicate left off of the roundabout because I've gone past the last junction before I'm turning off. And that apparently is what you're going to do according to the highway code. <clears throat> nice pothole right on the bend there, lovely. <clears throat> Just about to see the sea over there. Lovely. <clears throat> so I mentioned previously, I've spent a lot of time on the island because this is my, actually my third time living here. Um, so I've lived here for a number of years, over the years. A lot of it in this house because it's my parents house <laughs> and it's quite n nice and close to the beach so lots of beach time has had i love the sea in other news on the isle of wight we had the isle of wight uh, speed trials uh probably coming up for a couple of weekends ago um, where basically lots of rally cars and race cars pitch up at the island, ones that live here already and ones that don't. And uh, basically, they close the road down. It's one of the only places in the UK where they close public roads for uh, road trials. And basically, for six days, the road is closed and it's a two day event. And loads and loads of fantastic cars uh, zoom in up and down the seafront in Sandown. Um, so that was brilliant and it has brought about fresh uh, calls for the Island Diamond Races which is an Island, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Isle of Man TT style motorcycle race which they tried to get uh, on the Isle of Wight a few years ago but uh, the NIMBYs said no but uh, they're having another go so hopefully something will come of that because that would be a fantastic event for the Isle of Wight. Right let's find somewhere up the end here. Actually, around the corner. This is called Apley Sands, Ride Sands. Obviously, busy in the summer, and the tide goes right out, so you get a massive beach. Right, there's a car park up here, so it should be quiet. Let's go and have a quick look, and I'll show you all about these stickers. part of the world I live in. Anyway, this is my bike and this is the stickers I've been talking about. Uh, basically, 
you won't be able to see, I doubt, on the camera that they are actually reflective, full print, uh, reflective stickers. Uh, basically, I had to make a template um, on the bike, which takes ages, by the way. Probably mentioned before, I'm a sole trader, so I do everything. Uh, and I'm always running out of time. I'm a professional runner out of time, basically. But, um, yeah, I made these templates. It takes ages, trial and error, this going back, going back and forth. So that's what kind of thing I'll do when the, when the weather's rubbish. Uh, hence, I've managed to get this done over the last week or so. So I'm pleased about that. But uh, these are the stickers. This is just a test, basically a green uh, camo wrap uh, style on the bike. But uh, at night, when the headlights uh, hit that, it will light up like a Christmas tree. Uh, and I think it looks wicked. So let me know in the comments what you reckon. Um, bit garish. I've got some more stealth options, uh, which I'm going to try out as well, uh, which I've got a set ready to go on, but uh, I'm kind of liking these ones at the moment. Anyway, so that is that. Um, I'll probably put a link from my website or something if anyone's interested in that stuff. But I'm going to admire the view here for a little bit. I have got to get back shortly because I've got to go and do this school run. Uh, but uh, yeah, a little breather here. It's very nice today. Looks like you could swim to the mainland. That's Portsmouth just there. You can probably just see the spinnaker there. Through there. <laughs> also, you might notice these. Uh, I've got rid of my reflectors off of um, here, basically. It came with these horrible little round reflectors. I've actually manufactured some black reflective stickers that reflect uh, bright orange when the light hits it. So you can have some nice subtle um, reflective stickers on your bike without those massive uh, amber things. Uh, but uh, lo and behold, when a headlight hits it, they light up like a lamp post. Do them in round as well. So check out my website. Right, it is a long overdue, nice sunny day. So I am going to capitalize on this while I've got a little bit more time and uh, go for a nice little extended ride back to my unit. Make the most of this sunshine. I will also uh, like to add, I also will moan when it's too hot. So uh, prepare yourselves for that because I don't like being hot. And when you go out on your motorcycle, you've got to wear a lot of clothes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, not really looking forward to that, but it's better than cold and wet. Look at that, it's beautiful. Right, let's get back to my unit the long way round. If you're thinking of coming on holiday uh, to the Isle of Wight, do come and visit uh, Ride Sands on a nice sunny day because when the tide goes out, because it's so shallow, the water is lovely and warm. Hang on, let me rephrase that. The water's not absolutely freezing. Nice pile, lovely. They do lots of uh, radio controlled yachts on this, uh, on the canoe lake here. And I am quite tempted to get a, a radio controlled aeroplane with some floats on it and give it a go in there. But it might be some sort of designated uh, nature zone because of all the, all the geese and stuff. So I'll have to check that out first. sit here for about 25 minutes wait for a gap this could be us could still be us this is us Let's double check yeah excellent I used to have one of them, 350 CDI, uh, the big V6 diesel engine one of those I had, the AMG Sport version. What a lovely bit of kit that was. 
but I sold it when we moved here so we could get a nicer house. <laughs> Well, I've got to go up a place called George Street now, uh, which is quite steep, uh, so I might have to do a nice hill start on there. But uh, noteworthy in George Street is a beautiful uh, old Art Deco hotel called the Royal York Hotel, I think it's called. Uh, anyway, it's been left to uh, get all dilapidated and it is a right state. But someone, I think, has painted the, uh, the outside of it. Oh, look, we're going to have to do a hill start because there's bins. Bin man. Could be here sometime. Oh, they're on a the move. Nice. Well, this was going to be a short video today, but it might be quite a long one because, particularly if I manage to get out later on uh, at night time, because that will also be incorporated into this video, I guess. Oh, come on. What's down there? Can I go a different way? Rev that a bit. <laughs> Make sure I don't stall. Oh, this was a mistake. Well, I'm going to fast forward this bit because this is tumbleweed. gap has emerged right let's get past this bad boy and I will show you this building here look at this once upon a time this was a lovely hotel uh, but it's just been left derelict for years and years and years and uh, what are you doing yeah lovely building I must uh, point out though if you look around the back of it it looks absolutely minging because uh, they really only concentrated the beauty on the front of it Kill that indicator. Right, good few uh, little hill starts practice just there, which was good. I over revved the first one, but uh, oh well, the next ones were better, so I did redeem myself. Come on, mate, get a move on. So anyway, I was mentioning about the Isle of Wight uh, diamond races. A lot of the Isle of Man TT style race around parts of the island. 
for super bikes and stuff and uh, someone has suggested that I sort of go and uh, sort of show the course uh, that they set out for it and uh, so yeah I will be doing that if indeed they did set out a course it might not have got that far but uh, I suspect they must have had a course in mind when they proposed it so uh, if that is something I can do I shall go and do that when I get a couple of hours free at work made a nice noise that Harley assume it was a Harley Never going to stop before those. Getting all the hold-ups today. Oh, this car's not waiting. Oh, and now the bus has nearly crashed into it when it's pulled off. What a wally. The level of driving on the Isle of Wight is appalling, by the way. Bit of a weird way to come, I know, but uh, I live live up here, so uh, <laughs> thought I'd come past. I've not taken the bike to my house yet. Is there a car coming? Yes, there is. Thanks, love. You're welcome. Right, let's get out of it.
Right, let's get back to work. Otherwise, this is going to be another long video. It is very nice to be out and about again, I must say. Could have just gone then. It's quite a clear line of sight on that junction, but better safe than sorry, right? Very impressed with this shirt. It is not that warm today, actually, but it's doing a nice job of keeping me warm. Maximum send on my 125. Not quite maximum. It's a horrible hole there. Leave that one. Right. We are going to go down here. So let's indicate. Kill that indicator. Let's have a bit of zoomage. Still blowy. went over a massive lump of wood in the road. Have to give way to anyone waiting, but there's no one waiting, so let's get out of here. This corner we're just coming to is Dodge Pot. Uh, there's lots of evidence where cars have come off the road, but uh, funny enough, I've never actually seen one off. It's off camber on a tightening bend, and when it gets wet and icy here, it gets real slippery. And uh, <clears throat> you can just see, like, uh, well, you probably can't, but just there, lots of cars hit that tree. There's normally a flood at the bottom. Oh, some lovely gravel for me. I would like to point out, I have actually cleaned my motorcycle for the first time since I got it the other day. So it was nice and clean for my photos. Just been waiting for a nice day <clears throat> to go and get those. And today is that day. The island looks so much nicer when it's sunny.
always tempted to zoom down here, but it is a 30 mile an hour zone. So let's behave ourselves. This shirt I got on, uh, I bought um, a couple of these actually. One was in a big, big, big man, big man size, uh, and that was a bit too big. Um, but the next size down, which uh, is what this one is, is a little bit, a uh, little bit too tight still. But I have lost a stone over the last uh, couple of months with my fat versus football thingy, which is excellent fun, uh, and it is fitting me now it's a little bit snug around the stomach <laughs> still but that is better than big and baggy there's nothing worse on a fat bloke than a uh, massive massively oversized clothes and the shirt was absolutely over you could live in it it's like a tent but uh, this one's a bit more slender just need to lose a few more pounds See what kind of shots we can get if I put the extension pole out a bit. I had lots of good feedback about the camera angles that I've been using, so thanks for anyone who's made a comment on that. <clears throat> few people didn't like it as well but uh, you can't please everyone uh, and I like getting the different angles for myself so I shall continue to bung a small amount of those in each video I guess so I like it Right, let's get down B shoot. Back to work.
great fun bit of road this. It's nicer when you've got a bit more confident to uh, actually go to speed limit. <laughs> Lovely. I've had a right blast today. Blow away those cobwebs. Right, we are almost back. So this could be the end of the video. It might not be. Hopefully I can get out for uh, an hour or so later. But obviously, yeah, uh, because I keep my motorcycle at work, I'll have to drive to work, which takes about 20 minutes. F faff about getting my bike all sorted and get all my camera gear and perhaps my drone. Uh, get that all sorted. Ready to take some snaps, then ride somewhere photogenic like I've just been. And then... Uh, all the same again in reverse so everything takes ages <laughs> so let's see how that goes i don't think there's anything going on today my wife went out for a run last night so she's probably having a day off today Well, YouTube, I am back. It is now, what day is it? Tuesday, and I'm back in the evening, and I'm gonna go and get some more shots of my bike with my reflective stickers in the dark, because that's when they really come alive. So I am heading back down to, uh, I'm gonna go to Apley Park, not Puckpool this time, I'm gonna go head back to Apley Park, uh, car park, um, and get set up. Now, I can't bring both of the tripods that I wanted to bring, because one of them's too big to fit in my bag. Um, so I've had to bring just one, so hopefully I can still get some good shots. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna get down the seafront. I'll probably have to wait around a little bit until it gets a little bit darker, but uh, I'd rather get there early and wait a bit than get there too late and miss the boat. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut up and I'll see you in the car park. Right, I don't know how much of me you can see. It's getting quite dark now. Uh, so I've got loads of photos and videos of my stickers, which is good, that's what I came out for. Uh, but now I've got my first ride in the dark, but first I'm just gonna show you this real quick. Now you don't see me, now you do. Pretty cool, right? Check out my website. Okay, so it's not quite dark yet, so I'm gonna have a quick shoot around uh, the town, first of all, just to allow, allow it to get a little bit darker before I actually shoot home. But it is almost dark. So uh, let's do it. I've got me have a little camera on, you can probably see that. So let's go for a quick whiz around the town and then uh, back to my unit. Let's start that again. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I might be a little bit nervous about this, but I'm not really, to be honest with you. Um, it's just the same as in the dark, in the light, but a bit darker. So let's go and do this. The roads will be quiet anyway. So, 
let's get on with it. If I'm doing anything wrong, do let me know in the comments, please. And apologies, this is quite a long video. But I would like to thank all the people that have subscribed since my last video. It's gone a bit bonkers. So I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you haven't already subscribed, get on with it, please. some scallywags on a bike two up down here so let's go and see what they're up to oh they're going around the one-way system the wrong way so i won't see what they're up to annoying speed bumps so i can't really get any consistent speed on Got to keep slowing down and dodging those massive potholes. I think I'm going to quite enjoy riding in the dark. I certainly much prefer it when the roads are quieter. Right, that should be the last of the speed bumps, the intended ones anyway, the road's just poor anyway. Okay, all clear. And we're cool. Kill that indicator. Oh, we will see what the scallywags are up to because they've re-emerged. They probably shoot across the road in front of me. No, off they go down that other bit, pedestrianised bit. <laughs> right, I'm hoping people can see me with my uh, hectic reflective stickers on my bike. Bit of a weird video this one really. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I've had some great nights out in there. It used to be called the balcony. The carpet has never uh, existed anywhere else that is stickier than that was. But some great nights out for sure in there. Jesus, wet. that road is awful. Got to watch out for cars reversing out here because they cannot see what they're reversing into. I wish it was always this quiet. No pedestrians. Let's go. Right, do have to keep your eyes out for drunks down here. Popping out in between cars. Union Street in Ride. I actually got married in that building, Yelfs. It looks ropey on the outside, but I promise you it's uh, lovely for weddings. The food's awesome. And my wedding car was a Volkswagen split screen camper. Lovely. Right, it is getting suitably dark now, so we are good to go and we shall get back to St. Helens. 
just see spinner guitar over there if you're quick oh here's our scallywags again oh maybe they're not scallywags they're like brother and sister <laughs> It is noticeably chillier than it was this afternoon when I came out. Let's pull this visor down and see what that's like. A bit better. Don't want any late night flies in my eyes. Oh, it is chilly. Right, 30 up here, but it is a big ass hill, so I'm going to uh, give it a bit of a ring in to get my big bum up there. So far, so good. Is a car behind me? In one of my previous videos, you might have remembered me saying that there's always a bottleneck there because there's a car that parks and you can get two cars through, but no one does, so it causes tailbacks. Someone literally ploughed into the back of one of the cars the other day. So I don't think they'll be parking there again. All clear. Yeah, we're good. Do that shoulder check. Opposite indicator. Kill it. 30, let's go. Go on then, let's see your top tips for riding in the dark. Obviously no tinted visors. My one needs a clean actually, I normally ride with a visor up and sunglasses on. Uh, but I re did read something about uh, wearing sunglasses with a visor. And you shouldn't wear polarised ones because it can make you get that coloured blurry stuff which, uh, which I've described. So uh, I shall get myself some new sunglasses that don't have an emergency stop. <laughs> I oh know it's done that gear thing again. Well, let's hope this is a uh, easy gear that I'm in. I think it's second, but it's getting my bum off the line, so that'll do. Oh yeah, it's come back now. It's weird how it does that. The gear display, if you have to do an emergency stop, the gear display literally just vanishes off of this bike. If you know what's going on there, let me know. Right, now time to be extra vigilant about people that might not have seen me. So keep dog on the cars at junctions and stuff. 
even extra. Right, it's going to get a bit darker now because we're going out of the street light zone. Okay, let's indicate off here. Shoulder check, kill the indicator. Right, let's get some speed on. I have got a main beam, look, check that out. Don't want to blind anyone. Oh, it's going to get dark now. Oh, the light's actually surprisingly good. Pretty much the same as during the daytime, you just can't see as much. Lovely. behind me and I will indicate left there. Let's turn that off first. Kill the indicator. Well, I'm glad it's not raining for my inaugural uh, nighttime ride. <laughs> How do you think it's going? Let me know. Some people probably prefer riding at night. Roads are quiet, no one about. Certainly don't mind driving my car at night, that's for sure. But the oncoming headlights do give me a headache. My notice I've always got glasses on. I've got light sensitive eyes. I get headaches if I get bright light in my eyes. So uh, oncoming cars can cause that. Thirty zone, so let's make sure we're doing thirty. Lovely, almost back. Ah, 
house up here has got loads of different coloured lights shining on it for some reason. <laughs> oh, that was meant to be the indicator killing but I did do my horn there maybe I have a little look when I'm uh, riding during the day but I've managed until now without doing that so I uh, don't know what's going on there we'll put it down as being a one-off all right let's get down here I think you can get rid of your Christmas lights now mate Right, and we are back. Definitely call that a success. Lovely, right, let's get this bike in it and I need to go home and get my little bat, lad to bed. Right, well, a little bit of an adventure in this video. Uh, I've managed to do my first night ride, which I think went pretty well, I'm sure you agree, what do you reckon? Um, yeah, and other than that, I managed to get out and get my photographs. Uh, you know, taking product photos, it just takes absolutely ages. Um, and reflectives, of course, you have to get a picture in the daytime and at night, so it takes twice as long. So it's a lot of faff, but I'm pleased to get those. Uh, let me know what you think about the reflective stickers in the comments. You can be honest, so do so. Um, anyway, I'll be back soon with more. Um, and I need to get on and do something with towards getting my uh, mod one and two sorted out. So uh, I will crack on with that. But in the meantime, catch you later. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. There's a button just down there. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out. So thank you. Catch you later.